We're going to be putting a new uh, component on the Pragma Flow Marketplace, and it's going to be share on social media. This is just a helper uh, to actually get your stuff going on social media easier. It's not needed. Most of the social media stuff is actually just links. So instead of using this component, you can just uh, open an external link with some special parameters. This just makes it easier for everyone to do. So if we go over, let's just get this going. We have two different types of buttons. We have the generic share. And we have the social share. So the generic share is just, um, if you've ever clicked the share button, it will open up uh, a list of apps that you can just do stuff with. On, on a regular phone, you'll see that pop up at the bottom and you'll have uh, all your different things that accept sharing. You click on that, it'll share the message. So this is almost the same as doing this. But instead of having this source and the restriction on the source that you're sharing, you can now type in an actual message with magic text. So let's just delete that one because it's not as exciting. But if you guys just wanted to use a, a better way of sharing than this click action share, you can use that component. So the other one that we have is the social share. So with the social share, um, we have a list of predefined things that we we support. So add this blocker, buffer, dysphoria, emails, Facebook, Flatter, Pinterest, uh, whatever you want to do, WhatsApp, SMS messages. So let's just set this up and see how it works. So I'm going to say that this one is Twitter. We're going to call this Twitter. And then we have a couple of different fields that we have to fill out to actually link stuff to Twitter. So the URL I'm going to share is our install component site. We're going to say the text to share is check out these awesome new components from Pragma, Pragma Flow. The via, this is um, the, the Twitter handle. So I'm going to send this via Pragma Flow. And we're going to add in some hashtags. So we're going to go hashtag Adalo, hashtag PragmaFlow, hashtag PF components. Uh, these are comma separated with no spaces. Don't add spaces. Uh, then there's two ways that we can actually fire this action. So if we leave this blank, then when I click on that button, it'll just work. But let's say I wanted to actually um, update a record to say in my database, I have number of times this button's been clicked, then we can actually go and, and make an action to say update the record. And then um, we want to also open a link to a website. The website is going to be the social shares, the link that you need to open. And this way we can do other actions if they click on it. I don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to delete this. And now when I click on this button, it'll do what I want. Let's add a couple more of these. So we'll have the social share. We'll call this one Facebook. This is going to share to Facebook. So again, we need a URL when it comes to, to sharing stuff in Facebook. We share URLs. And then we have some text. We'll leave this two things blank. Add another one. And call this one WhatsApp. So it's going to be WhatsApp. This is going to be the text message through WhatsApp we want to share. And the phone number, including country code, no special characters of the number we're gonna be sharing it with. And, and that's it, let's just see what happens here. So I click on Twitter, it opens up Twitter and it pre-populates, check out the awesome new component from PragmaFlow with the link and the hashtags that we sent via at PragmaFlow. When I click on Facebook, 
It'll open my Facebook page, check out these awesome new components from PragmaFlow with the link to the Adala toolkit. And then what's that? Same thing. Continue. Do I want to send the message to this person? I just wanted to give a shout out to PragmaFlow. So that's it. There's a whole bunch of different sites that you can use this with. Um, now let's go and, and make this look better. So, so these are actually really crappy looking buttons. And that's not really what we want to have in our app. So now we can just make it look nicer. So to make it look nicer, we are going to just add an image. We're going to upload. Let's upload the Twitter logo. Let's scale it properly. That looks about right. So now what we do here is we actually turn the alpha channel, which is the opacity, off. We're going to remove it. And now we're going to just drag the component, make it the size of the image, make sure that this is in the front, otherwise you won't be able to click it. And let's do the same for Facebook. Same thing, we just turn the alpha panel off, get rid of the text. it over, make sure it's in the front. And finally, we'll do the same thing for WhatsApp. done that right when I click on WhatsApp we go and click on the Twitter share and I can click on Facebook so you can have nice little share to social media buttons within uh, a Dallow simply and now what we'll do is just see what this actually looks like on the phone because these are special links if we go and put these on a phone, they'll open WhatsApp instead of the WhatsApp website. They'll open the Twitter, uh, the Twitter app instead of the Twitter website. So I'm gonna pause the video here, start the new build. And when I come back, we'll see it running on my phone. Okay, so we just finished building, building the app, installing it on the phone. So just to tie things together, when I click on the tweet and ask me if I want to open with Twitter or Chrome, uh, and I'm not going to click on the WhatsApp, but it would launch WhatsApp, uh, same as Facebook. Let's just see, I don't even know if I'm signed in. I know I uninstalled it. Yeah, I'm not even signed in. So anyway, uh, when you build it, install it, you'll be able to, to create the share on social media stuff.